We have an opportunity now to talk with South Dakota Senator John Thune, who chairs the Senate Republican Conference, and he joins me now. Senator, thanks for being with us. We will get to health care in just a moment because I, I do want to focus on that, as is the president in Ohio today on the ground meeting with victims uh, of Obamacare. That in a second. I first, though, want to get your initial thoughts. We're learning some of the testimony potentially from James Comey tomorrow. I don't know if you've been able to watch and listen, but we're getting a flavor of what will come forth. Your thoughts? Right. Well, I think that's why that's why it's important to get Director Comey up here, Harris, and the Intelligence Committee is working on a bipartisan basis to get as much information to follow the facts wherever they lead, and Director Comey's testimony is critical to that. And now that we have a copy of his written testimony, and your folks are analyzing it, as are uh, I think a lot of people right now, um, we'll be better positioned probably tomorrow to ask uh, questions and to get some of the answers that people are looking for. But that's why this process needs to move forward. It's unfolding as it should be with the Intelligence Committee, uh, first in open session this morning and now in a classified mm -hmm. session this afternoon trying to get the facts. How important is it, Senator, that President Trump did not try to block James Comey's testimony with executive privilege? Well, I think that's really key. I give the president credit for that. I think that it was important for this to be handled in an open session and for uh, members of Congress to get as much information as they can. It will, I think, lend to a, a more complete investigation. And frankly, the more information that you get out there about this, I think the better off it is. It seems to me, at least, that the president would want to have those facts out there. And, uh, and that's what this process uh, ultimately leads to. As the statement of his comments tomorrow, James Comey has come out and you were watching and listening. Is there anything in particular that leads you to want to ask a first question or gives you pause? Well, first off, I think that what's important is the, what you're reporting as they've, as they've started to analyze this testimony is concluding and that, that there, there wasn't a specific um, effort, at least uh, according to Director Comey and what we have seen and know so far, uh, to try and uh, influence the Russia investigation. And I think that's uh, or attempt by the president to, to in any way impede that. I think that's an important uh, uh, factoid that a lot of people are going to be um, looking at and trying to drill down on tomorrow. But I, I think the main thing right now for a lot of people mm -hmm. is just uh, what did the, uh, you know, the conversations with the president and uh, how the um, director characterizes those, what the context was. I think it gives us a fuller picture of what actually happened.